All right, what we're doing here is we're going to create a surface of our uh, finish shots we took, going around the curb, doing a topo of the curb, that finished grade. Then we want to uh, make a surface of all of our subgrade shots, and then we're wanting to compare our volumes, and then we're wanting to export that in a PDF that we can send to a client. All right, so the first thing we need to do we're in our project. Uh, this one's just called Stevens Training. We stored all of our finish shots under the job default. We could have named it finish shots if we wanted to. Uh, we're going to go into our volumes app. These are all the points we took going around our curb. These are all on finish floor. And then our pins down the middle. So we're going to go into our toolbox. We're going to select a new surface. All right, now we're going to go back into our toolbox and we're going to hit a selection window. What this does is makes it where if we click on the bottom left corner and the top right corner, it selects every point in there and those are the points we're going to use for it to triangulate and create a surface. So we're going to hit the green check saying we've selected everything we want to select. Then we're going to hit our toolbox and we're going to do end surface. Now it's coming up letting us know what do we want to save the surface as. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to hit that arrow to go to the end. I, I could just leave it the date, but I want to know the difference between my finished surface and my subgrade. So I'm going to leave it the job name, Stevens Training. I'm going to name it Finished Floor. hit my check. So all I did was change the name. TRM is the type of file it saves. I'm going to hit my green check. And now it has created our surface. If we want to go in and look view our surface, we can hit this rotation button. And we can look at our surface at different angles to, uh, to see what we did in the field and see how it looks. If we want to view it back in the normal view, we can hit our north button and it gives us back in our overhead view. So now we've created our finished surface, so now we need to go in and create our subgrade surface. To do that, we're going to go home. We're going to change jobs. We're still in the same project, but we're going to change jobs to our subgrade job because that's what we stored all of our points in going around checking inside the subgrade area. All right, we're going to go back into our volumes and go through the same routine. I'm going to hit on my layer button and turn on my points. The CSV file is the shots we took. Hit my green check. All right, there's all the points we shot on our subgrade. We're going to go to the toolbox and we need to create a surface for our subgrade. So we're going to go to New Surface, Toolbox, Selection Window, bottom left, top right, selected all our points. That's what we wanted, so we're going to green check. Now we're going to go Toolbox again, and End Surface. Same thing, we're going to rename it. Go to the end, take off the date, I'm going to put subgrade. Check. Renamed it subgrade. We're going to check. So now we have a subgrade surface. Alright. So now what we need to do before we calculate our volumes, um, we're going to go into our layer button. Now we need to go ahead and turn on both of our surfaces. We got finished floor and subgrade. So I'm going to turn that on. CSV doesn't matter. We can turn that off. That's just our points. Um, we're only calculating volumes between our two surfaces. So then we'll green check. All right, first we have to select a, our reference surface, which will be the finished floor. And then we'll go to our toolbox. We want to calculate volumes. 
We want to calculate volumes by comparing two surfaces to each other. So we're going to go surface to surface. All right. Now it's saying uh, surfaces, surface to surface. We've already selected our finished floor. Now the other one we're going to compare it to, reference surface. We click on reference surface, and then we click on here, and we're going to select our subgrade. And we're going to green check that. Now it's giving us all of our volumes. We can scroll up, look at the, uh, this is all in cubic yards, amount and cut, amount and fill, total cubic yards, what percent of the surfaces overlap each other, so our area of completion, uh, the average elevation difference between the two, and anytime you see these little dots here, we can click on it and see what the units are. Surface area, U.S. survey feet, U.S. survey feet. All right, next step, we're going to go step two. Here's where we can enter in a swell or shrink factor based on our different materials. All right, after that, we're going to hit the green check. Now we want to save this as for save this file. We're going to name it Stevens Volume Report. And we're going to hit a green check. Alright, so now we've done created our volumes reports. Now we're going to go home. We're going to reports. The job we're in is subgrade. Uh, the report style we want is a volume template. That's just saying the report's going to be with all the information we need. Um, now it's saying what uh, these are the list of every, all the volumes reports we've done before. Uh, this is to see this is the one we just done, Stevens volume report. We're going to turn that on. Points, we're going to leave it on all points so that way the client can see every point we shot, northeast and elevation. We're going to green check. Now this is saying, where do you want to save this report to? All right, so if I want to put it on a USB stick and send it to them, put in my USB stick and of course it hasn't found it yet so I'm just going to go back into it reports subgrade volume template turn back on my file and now now my USB popped up so I just had to plug my USB in so I'd find it all right location is going to save it to reports on my stick File format, I can export it in all these different formats. Uh, PDF, just your standard Adobe PDF viewer. HTML opens it up in Internet Explorer, so they can see it in Internet Explorer. Uh, if they want to be able to manipulate the points, if you send it in a CSV, they can open it up in Excel, and they can manipulate the points in Excel. I prefer to do PDF because I don't want them manipulating anything I sent to them. All right, so we're going to do a green check. Here's a preview of what we're going to send them. This shows exactly how the report's going to look on the PDF. It's giving, them, giving us all our calculated results at the bottom for our, uh, two different surfaces and our total results with the total cut volume, fill volume, factors we use, corrected volume to balance the site, uh, percentage overlap, everything we saw on the screen before, along with a picture of the two surfaces on top of each other, and every point we shot. Uh, it's not going to show every point in the preview, but it will on the PDF. So we're going to hit our green check, and we're done.